Top 10 insanely good Shark Tank ideas that made millions. Before we start, I'd want you to hit that red subscribe button and comment down below, I subscribe for a chance to win our shout out giveaway. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Screen Orb. ABC's Shark Tank has doled out $100 million worth of deals to hungry entrepreneurs willing to face the gaze of both the judges and the nationwide audience. Although fans likely remember breakout hits like Scrub Daddy or Wicked Good Cupcakes, the island of Shark Tank rejects might have been even more more interesting place than its Hall of Fame. These are top 10 insanely good Shark Tank ideas that were mostly rejected, but the ones presenting them went on to make millions with the same plans. Copa Davino. Vinter James Martin made his mark on Shark Tank early when he presented single serve wine in a plastic container. America's first premium wine by the glass. He pitched the Sharks on a $600,000 investment in exchange for 30% of his business. The Sharks wanted the container, but not Martin's wine. Martin walked and claimed to skyrocket from $600,000 to $5 million in sales within the following year. Without the sharks by his side, Copa di Vino went on to sell 38 million cups of wine and make $12 million by 2016. Kodiak Cakes Launched in January 2014, Kodiak Cakes appeared on the tank in April of that year. Kodiak Cakes is a flapjack and waffle mix, and all you have to do to make it is add water. But most importantly, it tastes amazing. It really does. When the co-founder, Joel Clark, offered 10% of the brand for a $500,000 investment, he projected that his family's whole grain pancake mix would make $20 million through 2018. Clark left without a deal. Fast forward to 2018, it turns out that Clark was wrong. As it happens, the company is actually growing 80% annually and has made $100 million, with 20 new products hitting the shelves. Cell Helmet. Cell Helmet provides protective cases for your most precious possessions, your cell phone. Are we saying that our cell helmet cases can withstand all kinds of crazy abuse? Whoa. Absolutely not. Since being turned down on Shark Tank, Cell Helmet has gone on to create a whole suit of mobile accessories, including charging solutions, power banks, and screen protectors. Their products can now be found in 3,000 stores, and they have offices in both the US and China. Hammer and Nails. Despite being invited to the tank just five weeks after opening his first store, Michael Elliott's idea of nail salons for men wasn't a winner of the sharks. His offer for an investment of $200,000 was turned down. At the time in 2014, Elliot estimated his company value at $1 million. Although the sharks didn't bite, angel investors who had seen the episode came forward. From $200,000 of the seed money, the current bustling hammer and nails chain was valued at $100 million by mid-2017, with 232 licensed franchise locations. Zero Shoes Even though a 2013 appearance on Shark Tank left the owner with no new investment money, it did lend him this idea that there's no such thing as bad publicity. When the show was over, Zero Shoes found itself overwhelmed with 3,000 new orders of its lightweight, low-impact sports sandals. By 2015, revenue nearly doubled to $1.4 million. By 2017, Zero had over 75,000 customers in 94 countries and made more than $7 million in sales. The Lip Bar You know it's not going well when one of the sharks call your vegan, paraben-free, and gluten-free lipstick colorful cockroaches. Melissa Butler and Roscoe Spears of the Lip Bar might not have been laughing then, but by the time Taraji P. Henson was wearing their product at the American Music Awards, they were surely sporting some colorful smiles. It's not just celebs who are endorsing the lip bar either. Following their 2015 Shark Take appearance, yearly revenue nearly tripled to $260,000. Car Hood On the Australian version of Shark Tank, the investors decided not to fund a car hood with the asked price of $300,000, around $230,000 US. Of course, this wasn't just any car hood. This was Steven Johnson and Christian Schaefer's car sharing service, Car Hood, which lets users rent out their cars at the the airport while they're away traveling. The shark seemed baffled, but Ford Australia wasn't. The massive car company offered Johnson & Schaefer a deal less than a year after their appearance on TV. By 2016, Car Hood was valued at around $4 million, or roughly $3 million USD. Chef Big Shake Showcasing his famous shrimp burgers on Shark Take didn't land Chef Big Shake an offer. However, it did create a mountain of interest in his work on cooking. This episode of Shark Tank has now been aired over a hundred times and resulted in a now world-renowned chef appearing on QVC, Martha Stewart, Radio Men vs. Food, CBS Sunday Mornings, and Access Hollywood. Chef Big Shake went on the shelves in over 22,000 stores and sold more than 6 million products annually. The Bouquet Co. John Tabas of Bouquets wanted to snip the middleman and sell flowers directly to consumers. In 2014, the sharks didn't bite, but ironically, everything blossomed from there. When one of the show's investors needed flower 
cash for his wedding, he came to Tavis and ended up investing in a round that generated $24 million in the capital. In 2016, Books brought in $1 million in a single day several times. Meal Enders In 2017, Mark Bernstein asked the Sharks for $300,000 in exchange for 8% of his company. Shark Tank investors weren't in favor of investing and proved predictably wary of anything that might be dubbed as a diet product. It's too early to tell if Meal Enders will blow up entirely, but the prospect of future success looks promising. Following the airing of Bernstein's episode, 15,000 new orders generated over $400,000 in sales over three days alone. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss any of our videos in the future. Also watch the two videos that are on your screen now because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I will see you in the next video.